So I promised this company I would wear their vest in the snow. And uh, here you go, guys. I have fulfilled my obligation. This is the snow behind me, beyond the snowstorm, many mountains. So you got snow and mountains. <laughs> All right. So I'd just like to say I completely fulfilled my obligation to you guys as far as snow and mountains. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to bring this to you in the forest because I'm not sure what's going to get filmed in the forest from now on due to laws. So let's, uh, let's talk about the vest some. All right, guys. So I've had the vest for quite a while now, and I've worn the heck out of it this winter and fall, even through the spring. It's a, it's a really adaptive vest because you can use it with the battery. You can use it on the three different heat settings, and you can also use it without the battery. It's just a pretty nice uh, base layer. I usually wear it uh, like either over my t-shirt or over my like thermal shirt, whatever I'm going to wear that day. Then I'll wear that as my next layer, and then a bigger coat over that. Now, I'm the kind of person I'm never going to advise that you use a battery operated system in any kind of instance where you're counting on it for your survival, but it can absolutely aid you in being more comfortable in your environment or even, even at home. Like there's several days when I'd come home from work and I'd be tired and sore and I would just throw the vest and turn it on uh, high and sit back in my chair like uh, kind of like you do with a heating pad on your sore back or something like that. It's going to hit your back, shoulders, chest, and it feels real nice. It feels real nice. Uh, a lot of nights I'll wear it shooting pool in the garage. We don't have any heat in the garage, so in the evenings I'll go out and shoot pool with it in the garage. There's, there's a lot of reasons. Even if you're not a hunter or a hiker, there's a lot of reasons you might be able to use one of these heated vests. Um, and they come in more than just camo, but I do like the camo. It matches all most of my real tree stuff pretty close. One of my favorite things about this vest, this is the side of the vest here. And you can see I've got it zipped in one, but it, it, it expands. You pop that open and it'll expand. And you can zip it all the way down like that, or you can expand it all the way out like that. And they give you like three, four different uh, widths here so that you can keep the vest tight to you no matter how many layers you have on underneath it or how much you may have uh, expanded from season to season. So it's a nice versatile vest. It's really comfortable. The inside is super plush, super plush, and uh, very soft, very comfy. Like I said, I, I really wear this vest a lot. And uh, the outside is, is, is pretty, it feels kind of soft, and you think, ah, man, I don't know how that's going to do. But so far, it's been pretty abrasion resistant. And um, they claim it's 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 like fairly waterproof and stuff like that. If you look on their their site, it shows they have like a membrane under this and stuff. But uh, myself, I've only had it in the snow. I haven't taken it out like in the rain or anything like that. Which like why why would you you have this under your raincoat in the rain? So I think it's waterproof enough for what it is. But I really haven't like pushed the limits of that. I found that the zippers are pretty good quality. They're not like YKKs or something like that, but they're pretty nice and uh, I've had no trouble with them. I've had this thing for almost a year now, which yeah, I, I should have done the review by now, but at the same time, it's good to see, especially a piece of clothing like this. I think people would rather see me having tested it for a long amount of time, an entire season, and, and tell you what my results have been rather than I'm just giving you like a 30 day test and, and tell you from there because uh, a lot of products nowadays are designed to live within that 30 day window where they have no more warranty. And once that 30 day warranty is up, a lot of products seem to go to crap. This doesn't seem to be the case. The battery pack is still holding up. I'm still getting like eight hours uh, on the low setting on a full charge. Um, I think probably the high has lasted me probably every bit of four or five hours probably more than that because i've worn it i've worn it on high more than anything um and i think it i think it probably lasts even more than five hours sometimes but the the battery was still pretty fresh um i've used it i've probably recharged it 50 times it's still taking a charge it's still lasting just as long i've had no trouble with the uh vest itself or any of the wiring in it it's i've laid on it crunched it scrunched it bunched it i've had no trouble i have not washed the vest yet and I got kind of conflicting instructions on that. Uh, the website and all the information that came with it say just throw this vest in the washing machine. But the gentleman that I've been corresponding with from the company told me to hand wash it. So I'm going to recommend that you hand wash it because there are wires in this vest like an electric blanket. And uh, I, I think the least amount of agitation is the best in that situation. I would just hand wash it in a sink, dry it out from there. Um, 
Uh, but uh, th this vest 100% uh, gets gets my stamp of approval. I, I love this thing, and like I said, I wear it all the time. The only reason I'm not wearing it right now is because I waited way too long to do the, the other half of this video, and it's, you know, the middle of July. So <laughs> I apologize again to the to folks down at the Heated Hunter Go Hunt Vest. Yeah, you make a quality product, and I appreciate you working with me. I, I wish I could have gotten out <clears throat> into the mountains and filmed the review like like I'm sure you would have liked, but um, as far as the fate of this channel and, and filming in the forests anymore, I don't know if that's going to happen anymore because of the way the laws are and stuff like that. I've got a pretty nice piece of property for doing reviews and, and for testing equipment and stuff like that, and a lot of that is probably going to go on outdoors here from now on. Um, and and as as things progress, I'll know more about what the laws are and how California is going to treat them. At any rate, I definitely recommend this heated hunting vest, uh, whatever the company's calling itself nowadays. <laughs> I believe it's the heated hunter now. They they the product is still called the Go Hunt Vest Pro, as far as I know. I looked the website up a few days ago, but they had they had changed their actual website name from Go Hunt Vest to the Heated Hunter. And when I looked it up, it looked like it was Go Hunt Vest again. So I think you looked this up at GoHuntVest.com. Anyway, folks, I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for coming by, and we will see you next time.